Biti vojnik bilo je sve što je želio. Ja sam bio ponosan. Baš ponosan, jer... Pripremao se za ženitu i govorila sam mu, sine, mlad si. Pa dobro, evo radim i dobro je. 2011. s neponih 20 godina bio je na korak do ostvarenja svojih snova, a onda mu je na vojnom poligonu stalo srce. On je na trećem sleku pao. Pao dole, srušio se i... I dok su oni intervenirali, Ivan je naš bio mrtav. Oživjeli su ga, no njegov život zauvijek je promjenjen. Ivo, Ivo, golube moj, dobro jutro, dobar dan, golube moj. 13 godina kasnije Ivan je u stanju koje liječnici opisuju stanjem budne kome. Vojska ga je poslala u mirovinu, a brigu o njemu preuzeli roditelji. Do dan danas Ivan nije dobio lipe oštete. Kardinalnu pogrešku napravio je Županijski sud u Karlovcu koji je nekritički usvojio žalbu državnog odjetništva koje je zastupalo Republiku Hrvatsku izostavljajući pri tom sve bitne činjenice i okolnosti slučaja a onda kasnijom procedurom I am gonna tell you exactly what the situation was with this Croatian family Đurđica family if you like, Giorgio Dan family, Ivica, a son uh, of of Josip Pushilic, Pushilic, had a medical condition. This medical condition to him repeated before he had it uh, to the Croatian military, this medical condition repeated to him on at least two or three, maybe four occasions, this medical condition repeated to him. And he was a young man and somehow, miraculously, this young man, whenever this condition with the heart repeated to him, he always survived. He always survived. It was a medical condition that repeated to him on at least three, four occasions with always somebody saving him. One time friends saving him, another time father saving him, etc., etc., whatever the fuck went on. He decided he will proceed into Croatian military not because to become a soldier in there, but literally to uh, to get retirement from Croatian military. This is exactly what happened to this individual. I'm not saying that he did not have this kind of medical condition. I am just saying this stuff repeated with him. But what's interesting, this individual was involved with Milan Kuchan. This individual was involved with the Slovenian police. Was it at advice of Slovenian police, advice of Milan Kuchan to do it this way? I do not know. The only thing I know is that when they delivered him, when they delivered me back to his home, where I frequently also was tortured by the Slovenian police, all I know is that father who always behaved nicely toward me lost his temper totally it was strange because it had more to do with the neighbors than with this individual neighbors where Pushilic Pushilic lives are Chetniks a Pushilic house is located like I'm not going to say at the end of the village, but it's kind of it's isolated. So, with the very scarce neighbors around one. Yeah, he has a house. I did not watch movie or anything like this. I didn't watch anything about that kind of stuff. Uh, I know it's... Uh, I remember it's... Um,
it will be something like this. You know? Something like this. Uh, with... Uh, uh, clean outside, just something like this. And the neighbors around the house, the house, the house itself more looked like this. No pool, no nothing. But, you know, whatever they have, but clean outside like this. Uh, and... Uh, well, actually, like modern, but... But... Something like this, all right? This will be a house from Pushelich. Uh, even, you know, uh, characteristics for uh, for the area of, uh, to me, it looked like uh, cross. I don't know how you say that. But the thing is that the neighbors, the, it's all flat over there. It's all flat. Where this is, wherever this is, it's all flat. And the neighbors are Chetniks. It was... Chetniks in the area where Milan Kuchan, where the Slovenian police would deliver me, they were more excited about a torture than uh, this individual. Um, maybe this individual even observed the torture from the neighbors. Or maybe he ran the torture. I don't fucking know. And the father was kind of nice to me. But when his son got in this kind of situation, it was very, very different. Uh, he yelled, screamed at me uh, on uh, Croatian, that now that he is on his own, now that he's going to have to take care of his son by himself, etc., etc., that he does it, that he will. Uh, strange, because he wasn't looking forward to any kind of assistance, having anybody in the house. Uh, for two years, just as he says in the video, that is from the video, these people didn't request any kind of assistance. Um, suggested that they believe this is just going to go away on its own. Interesting. Um, I don't have anything else I would say. What kind of medical condition is this? The physicians would know more. Their attorney, that's an interesting bird. Their attorney at law, uh, I think that if Karadzic left the beard to grow up, uh, it would be exactly Karadzic that would be their attorney. I don't know what the fuck to say. Their attorney is... He, he, if he's not a Serb, he's a strange kind of Croat. I would not consider one as a Croat. He's, he's, a, he's a Croat as much as the Milan Kuchan is Slovenian. I don't have anything else I would say. I was butchered in the name of Djurjica. I was butchered in the name of this Croat throughout the Serbia for a very very long time afterwards because Serbs knew about this case and they played divide and conquer game in Croatia and you're talking about the top Alexander Vucic leadership everybody whoever was involved in the case managed to share information about what went on with whoever I think this case is posted somewhere on a dark web. That's what I was told. Uh, people with uh, uh, people involved in this case had ability to watch, interact with one another, meet one another uh, through this case. Serbia, Serbia knew absolutely everything about this case. They wanted to, they wanted the crucifixion in the name of this case here. Just in the name of this, they were always looking for the reason to retaliate for something. Even that this shit had nothing to do with Serbs. What the fuck? Uh, you know. That's a Croatian problem that Croatia didn't resolve yet. And Croatia need this kind of problem. To tell you quite frankly, because it's financially lucrative as long as somebody pays for it, as long as somebody finances it, it's all kinds of stuff that can be done in Croatia. In Croatia or Poland or the Czech Republic, you have seen how it goes in this part of the world. 
I don't have really anything else to say. He had a medical condition. He did not. However, I'm not saying that this injury is not real or something. Uh, but this injury was bound to happen one way or the other. Maybe it will be interesting to learn from the physicians if this type of injury would go, usually the heart injuries go worse from worse to worse, don't they? So even if he would do in whatever kind of job he would be doing, he would not get any kind of retirement because if your heart is, you have some kind of mistake on the heart, he would, you know, a social support is he would get. But the social support that people get when they have a, due to disability, is not as high as they procrastinate would be from the Croatian military, and not as early, and not as secure. So they played a safe ticket, and maybe it turns out to be not a good ticket. Maybe it turned out to be just a ticket that he did go too far with, and it cost him, you know, maybe even a life if he's never going to get up from his bed again. That's very, very bad. I am not denying any kind of injuries. I'm just saying that these people had, this individual had problems, heart problems already before. Very similar, identical situations have happened. However, they did not last it for that long. And they did happen even in the presence of the police. It was documented even when the police was there that there's something happened. I remember that something happened on two occasions. One time was with, with a friend that saved him. Another time was uh, the father that saved him. And they didn't know what to do with it. So they resolved it this way. Milan Kuchan was extremely unhappy. Um, he figured out that this is not the way once he saw the father lifting his son. Uh, he was all miserable. Uh, but the thing is, the Milan Kuchan is a Serb. This is a Serbian from Slovenia. This is just a Serb that was born in Slovenia. That's all there is to it. He's more Serb than many Serbs in Serbia. This is actually a Chetnik from Slovenia. You can tell me all you want that he was born here, that he's native here. Yeah, of course. Whatever you say. Croatian state officials from Zagreb also claim me that they have the proof about this guy. Maybe even faking it. I don't think he is faking it. Uh, they did claim me that they do have a proof. They do have some other proofs about it. I don't know what kind of proofs about it. Um, they did mention to me neighbors, meaning that it might have been something they have video recorded about this individual. It's maybe why this kind of problem dragged for so long. And they do have some kind of proofs also about their attorney, you know, that kind of stuff basically. So naturally when you have this kind of stuff going on, if there is this kind of stuff going on, we don't know what's going on with it. Um, naturally, when it comes to issues like this, listen, I got more death threats from the people in this area than what I can count in the name of Georgica. And Georgica, by the way, wife from this individual, Paule Pushilic, I tried to flirt with her. She was a very good looking, beautiful woman when she was younger. She always reminded me, saying to me, she's a Serbian. If I don't remember, do you remember? I am a Serbian. Now, that's too bad and so on. This is the type of game that went on with this Croatians, if you like. Yeah, but father, uh, Josip, Josip Pusilic, uh, he was... He was, uh, he was a Domovinsky Ratnik. Uh, he fought for the Croatian state. He was, a, he was a Croatian warrior. Yeah. 
That's all. I'm not saying that he was not. I'm not saying that he was not. Um, more likely he was than what Milan Kuchan is a Slovenian. Milan Kuchan is absolutely not Slovenian. Milan Kuchan was only born here. It's what you would consider as a native to Slovenia. But this is not Slovenia. This is a Chetnik. First of all, he is a Chetnik. Then it, it comes everything else that comes, whatever, whichever way it comes. He is a Chetnik. He is a murderer. He is assassin. I know that he is assassin. He is a Chetnik by his deeds, by his criminal deeds. When it comes to the father, Paule, it's Paule, no, Josip, Josip Pusilic, I doubt that he even fought for the Croatian state, that he was a warrior and, and whatever he was. I doubt it. I doubt the fucking guy. I doubt the fucking guy about anything. You know why? Because it was... He became an example for the Serbs in Serbia that started to use one as their saint, as somebody who fought for the, uh, for the independent Croatian state, as a Croat. Uh, and th this, this is, this is, they didn't publish the news about this guy, but entire Serbia knew about this case. Everybody on the Balkans knew about this case. This is a shit. Drek kako kažemo u Sloveniji, which dragged and dragged and dragged all over the place throughout the entire Balkans, through every country watching how uh, this is this is a man, uh, a Croat who was fighting for the Croatian independence, uh, gave his life literally for the Croatia uh, and was left out on the rain when his son went on and suffer this kind of incident and the Croats don't even have the regulation uh, for the military uh, from United States I was assaulted during MK Ultra. How come that nobody published anything about this case for so long? That's a strange cookie. That's a really really strange cookie and I was guilty for it all because I was the one who wanted to have a military in Croatia similar to the US Marines. The Serbs uh, have their own rules. You can see what kind of Serbs rules have Serbs. And you can see what's going on in Ukraine, how it works. <laughs> they don't care much about their soldiers. They don't care about much their people. They treat their people like a shit, like a meat grinder, man. They send them out there to die, basically. Like a meat grinder, literally into the meat grinder. They send them out in waves. And it doesn't matter. They ran out of man, even. It wasn't the prisoners that they used only in this war. All kinds of, all kinds of people from the prison. But it was, it was they sent their best man in a slaughter machine, in a meat grinder. They paid a big price for this invasion of Ukraine. They don't care about the people in Russia. With a stroke of the pen, uh, just lately the news came out, Putin is going to send our 180,000, another 180,000 corpses to Ukraine, basically. I don't care about their people, man. In Serbia or in the Russia, you're just a number. That's all you are. You're just a fucking number. You're nobody. Yeah, but this was the case. And this is also a treachery from the Croatian state. Because they allowed for this shit to drag around for so long. And didn't stop one, didn't didn't come to, you know, didn't place an end to this stuff for so long. So, why you shouldn't allow stuff like this to drag around, demoralize people, divide people, uh, as to what Serbs do their best to do stuff like this through the Bo throughout the Bosnia and Croatia. Personally, myself, I fucking throw you in a jail for this stuff like this. I just summon you in a court. 
have a hearing for you, present you the case. And then what I would do is, I would talk about how much you denigrated Croatian state by doing this kind of stuff. Because it goes to the area of the treachery. It goes to the area of treason, betrayal. Personally, this is how I would treat this case. When you apply to be part of the professional military, uh, of course, it always depends on what, where, which um, department, branch of the military you want to get into. Um, however, when you apply for the professional military, you better be ready to eat mud because it's your best friend. You're not out there to sit in the office clean with your hands in the pocket. You have to become a full-time soldier. If you're, you're to become soldier on the field, and mud is your friend, and you shouldn't apply if you are in a fragile health that you cannot undergo the tests, which in every military department, anywhere from the U.S., Marines to the French Foreign Legion, go and see how, what the fuck goes on, how they do it. Maybe it was not professional enough in a sense that those who attended this, um, this polygon exercise, whatever it was, uh, maybe, they were not, maybe they were not trained enough to immediately assist uh, Ivica. I don't know what happened. I was not there. I didn't... I don't know what the fuck happened, uh, but um, I have no idea what happened w when it comes to to this issue. How 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 they they reacted, how they acted, uh, what they did according to the protocol. Uh, I don't know what the fuck went on, but you know, don't think that you're gonna go in a professional military and. It's just going to be anybody in there. They don't take anybody. That's why you have to go through the certain, even for the police, you have to undergo certain physical tests uh, that obviously they're at your own stake. You're not hired yet. You, you have to undergo certain tests to see how far you can get, if you can get the stuff done. What is it that you can or not do, whatever. You can't just go out there and just whatever. I don't even understand about something else when it comes to this case. I don't even understand about something else. See, I have to think about something else too. But it could be that this stuff is even worse. Well, definitely for this family when it comes to... Uh, if the Croatian state does have a proof, if they have the evidence from the neighbors, as Croatian state official from Zagreb assured me, um, these people don't have much to look forward to. If this stuff repeated before the men went into the military, uh, these people can be alone. They can be charged with the ma anywhere from manslaughter, treason, uh, all kinds of issues for also denigrating Croatian state, causing one harm, reputation, and stuff like this. It would be a bad one for this family. And for the attorney who was consciously hired by the Serbs to do this, to do the job. Uh, there is somebody else I failed uh, to mention. There is somebody else I also failed to mention, uh, the wife of the soldier. The wife of the soldier was involved in it. Uh, this appeared to me to be a, quite a beautiful Croatian girl, uh, like semi-blonde girl even, uh, slightly light hair, and... Um, I could be totally, totally wrong about stating Croatian. I could be completely wrong about by stating Croatian. I don't know. I don't bloody know. It appeared to me to be Croatian. 
uh, but uh, uh, when the two met with one another, this stuff clicked together like it was match made in heaven, uh, but also in a political sense. And I can tell you right now that for me personally, something there was just not right. One of the two, one or the other, uh, or maybe even both, had a Serbian background. So what I would do is, when it comes to the wife, I will also check that one to see what's going on. Because the Serbs, fairly well organized uh, after Domovinsky Rat, after the war in on Croatia, after the Serbian invasion on Croatia, uh, they fairly, uh, when the war ended, uh, you can call it a war, uh, they fairly well organized, the families well continue to intermarry with one another, Serbs with the Serbs and so on. And so I think this is the case. I think that this got a whole more to do with it uh, than just uh, what you see here. Uh, but to me, she appeared more to be Croatian. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I was really preoccupied with this issue and I was judging people accordingly with about who I wanted to know who who in who marries whom how how the how it goes in Croatia and um, to me it appeared that I don't know it 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 was a good looking couple I'm gonna put it this way I was happy for it um, but something there was just not right, even in a political sense. Or maybe the girl completely disregarded uh, her fa fiancé's is background. That's a possibility of it. That she disregarded his background and it's how the problems started. Um, I really do not know. I really, really do not know. It's all kinds of stuff that happens in life. You get in love and uh, it's... Uh, it's um, it's a normal thing that you're not preoccupied in a way, especially if you live in the same area uh, with your spouse's background. Uh, but you see, the thing is that here in Balkans, it does. Yeah, I was looked strange upon when I was doing all this stuff by Americans, where society is greatly intermixed. But you see, the things here are very, very different. And if we would intermix with one another, um, you know, uh, in that case, it would be like in Bosnia, it would be like in Croatia. <clears throat> you know, you, you get, you intermix and, you know, you get your father-in-law or you get your son-in-law, wherever it is, uh, literally kill you or your neighbor, it was a massacre against uh, neighbor against neighbor. These are Balkans. Serbia. It's like I put the fucking links below the videos for you to understand where this is located. Serbia had a war. Not, did not have a war with, with ethnic Albanians from Kosovo. Because Kosovo is close to 100% Albanian. They did not have a war. They slit people. They, they killed people on a mass scale. They started to kill people on a mass scale. Liquidated them. Using all sorts of methods, all kinds of stuff. Your neighbors. Your neighbors. Even if you didn't marry with them. You had a Serbian neighbor. In Croatia and in Bosnia was worse. In one moment. It was a family. In the next moment, portion of the family that was Serbian wanted to exterminate, either it was Bosnian or Croat. And they did. They killed. It wasn't even neighbors who would do it. Even within the family, stuff went on. So I was kind of a look strange upon, but this is Serbia. Serbia had war at the same time with the Kosovo Albanians, at the same time with the Bosnian people, at the same time with the Slovenian people, 
at the same time with the Croatian people. They have a war with four different nations they try to exterminate to make the biggest Serbia. And there is no respect for the life of any kind from anybody here when it comes to Serbs. Serbs see themselves as a superior, superb race, not even people here in Balkans. Everybody knows that. They exterminated Hungarians from Vojvodina, from what used to be Vojvodina. There was a large Hungarian minority in Vojvodina, even German minority. They exterminated them. There is none anymore. You can talk all you want about the Kosovo, but I, if I ask you where in Vojvodina are, are Hungarian people, where are the German people that were in Vojvodina, where is the German minority, where is the Slovenian minority, where is the Croatian minority, where is the Croatian minority in Vojvodina, where is it? They slit their throats, they make them go. You either go or you're gone. They had a problem with everybody, including they didn't like Bulgarian people. They didn't like Romanian people. They have a problem with absolutely whoever is the border with a Serbia at one point in time had a war with the Serbs. That's a bottom line. So I don't know. I'm not going to say I think that uh, the wife from him uh, is actually Croatian. I, I think that she's she's actually very very Croatian. She was a really really beautiful girl. I remember now more, uh, semi blonde girl, a really beautiful girl, and um, you know, he didn't know what to do with himself, where to go, what to do with it, with the whole thing, uh, and he had this kind of talent. His girlfriend definitely knows about this stuff she knows about it her family knows all about what i stated in this video he did have a problems he did have a health problems there was some health problems this man suffered already from and they knew he would not pass this test military test and from what i was told he even managed to uh, pass a whole a lot before this happened to him he managed to actually go through many tests already in this in this and this um, and then it happened to him uh, so you know I don't know this kind of medical condition uh, it was Slovenian physicians doctors that were involved in it it was international even doctors physicians involved in it and they guaranteed they guaranteed them that it's all good that you know it's not uh, this this just doesn't happen they have they have american physicians involved in it examining this kind of symptoms obviously i don't know what else you could do and uh they assured them that this kind of stuff just doesn't happen and if it happens uh you know you you just don't survive just uh you don't survive this stuff if it happens whatever you you know uh, so enough that they launch this kind of procedure against Croatian state however they had this kind of problem already before uh, the young man did have problems it was I don't know his neighbor that saved him uh, it was a young man a neighbor who ran for the father. I was there one time even. And the father came and saved him. It was about three, four times at least that stuff like this happened before this young man had it to the Croatian military. But the thing about it is these people tortured. These people were involved in torture, in a physical torture. And that's not appreciated. Physical torture is just a physical torture. And I don't care. If you're a Serb, or you're a Croat in Croatia, you ought to be responsible for it. The, uh, the, uh, the wife of this uh, young man, um, I think she even has a sister, but I'm not sure. Um, 
you know, that's all the hell, you know. Uh, and I'm glad because they don't write any anything about this stuff. Um, but this is a semi-blonde girl, a really beautiful girl, Croatian. Uh, now this this is a Croatian girl. This is definitely a Croatian girl. Uh, you know, um, man, uh, he wasn't even honest with her, was he? I mean, I mean, I'm just saying. Um, he could mention to her that he does have this kind of problems. That is, that is, uh, you know, this is a heart condition, uh, because that's all there was. Uh, he has a son with her, and uh, you know, that was it for her, basically for her life. I don't know where her life went afterwards. Pripremao se na ženitbu, ne znamo znali da ima sina. In Croatia, boy. Um, um, this man, you already know because he doesn't need further introduction. I introduced him really well. But you should see what kind of honors this guy was recepted in Croatia and even in parts of Bosnia. <laughs> I mean, when I think about this stuff, um, I would say you gotta be out of your fucking mind. Um, literally by the Croat people, literally by the Bosnian people. But okay, I mean, he got honors, I don't know. Uh, um, you see, um, Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I am not going to go into the issue of uh, Yadranka Kosar, I will not go do that. I think she's uh, childish, that lady. Uh, but uh, yes, she's supposed to be a communist, etc, etc, etc. Okay, uh, I also take her as one. Uh, but you know, when I look at this stuff here, this didn't make any difference really between Kosor and Yadranka Kosor and uh, Kolinda Grabar. Uh, odlikovanje, odlikovanje. I know that he was in Croatia and. Um, He was he was received in Croatia in Sin. I think it's that's very very Croatian. It's called Sin. Uh, he got uh, some kind of medals and stuff like that. He was uh, he uh, uh, he was received like a royalty over there. You know, <laughs> man. Uh, you know, uh, Mister. Rodman Mr. Rodman Gerlich uh, was afraid that I would take uh, an island in Croatia, you know, and uh, make my own Liberland. Uh, initially uh, the Habsburgs uh, had a plan to create uh, they, may, they sickened me like this with the idea that I'm gonna have my own country you know uh, and this is how the Liberland came to life if you want to know about the Liberland Liberland Uh, this is this is uh, this this Czech pundit was financed entirely by Habsburgs. Uh, Sandor Sa Sandor hired him and also stated that he if he would ever manage to 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 create an independent state of some kind that he would just purchase one from him for a lot of money even billions of dollars uh, you see 
Sander Habsburg was willing to pay Jedlička even two billion billion dollars, whatever, for this Liberland, uh, but it was the Liberland itself was come to life for free. Uh, this is just one of the projects, and the way the Liberland project started was literally by Sandor Habsburg suggesting me that he claimed me during MK Ultra when the war in Croatia started in 1991 uh, that he is looking for my country for my for my land that 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 I will have my country this is this was the initial agreement between me and Sandor Habsburg <laughs> uh, what I want to be between located between the between the uh, between the Serbia and between the between the Croatia well uh, I will say uh, just go and figure out that stuff on your own uh, I don't think I would want to do this this kind of stuff I don't think you would ever uh, see me doing this kind of stuff um, you can see that uh, Google went ahead and classify a uh, land which is located in Croatian side, obviously, of the Danube River now, or reclassify one into a Serbian land. Yeah, you can see right there. Uh, you can see here, it's called Liberland Serbia. Um, that's one thing you can do. Uh, would I want to be located here in this place here? No. Not in a fucking hell. Um, the Croats, however, with the Slovenian police, uh, went on to insist me that uh, it will be, where the hell is, there will be a small island, uh, it's for sale, they have this island for sale. They have an island for sale. Uh, not so that you would make the country on one, but just an island for sale. Um, so I'm going to make a little commercial here for the Croatian real estate. Um, you see this this bigger island, not the one behind, uh, that this would be my island, 100%, Slovenian police guaranteed. Uh, airport Medellin. Uh, 870 meters uh, Medellin yeah we're gonna do this yeah the, the Croatian state already together with the Slovenian uh, already started to insist which is really really luxurious because it's a uh, uh, because it's um, uh, it's in Istria in Pula you know uh, that, that this will be my island and etc 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 Otočić Bodulaš would not be but this one here something like this I don't know Otočić Seja something like this in, in that sense it would, it would be that this will be my island literally please please let me assure you uh, dear Croats uh, I have no intentions whatsoever to take to build anything in Croatia. Uh, Josip Bros Tito drilled me like crazy when I was a child, you know. Uh, there is a place known as Brionski Otoki. Briuni. It's called Briuni. This is the place where I would go with Josip Bros Tito when I was a child, oftentimes. He would take me. And then he started to drill me. I saw this really beautiful. And then he started to fuck with me. Uh, I told you that I was, I was, I was not a spoiled child. I, I just grew up around the people. And it was a lot of stuff. It was said it was thanks to me. And so I didn't want to drive myself in a fichko 
or in a you know um, Um, this one here, or uh, this one here, this one, uh, man, they were making the same fucking car 50 years. They never changed the design, boy. Uh, the same ugly, ugly motherfuckers will come in, keep coming, rusty, ugly, and uh, really they were nothing when compared to German cars anywhere from well Mercedes was just my my favorite brand and that's it basically you know as a child all I wanted is Mercedes basically I didn't want any other cars really um, so maybe in a way he spoiled me I don't know uh, I see I thought and I'm still sure that for the child like this it deserves Mercedes definitely um, the thing is that Mercedes was considered like a top of the car, like top, top, top. Me as a child, I as a child, as a, as a, as a two, three, four, five, six, seven years, uh, as, a, as, a, as a up to age, I don't know, five, I didn't know, six, I didn't even grasp Mercedes, basically. Uh, all I want is the fucking car, you know? And when it comes to Mercedes, it was really comfortable to drive. He had a good Mercedes, uh, so I like that. You know, uh, it was good. Uh, Tito had bigger limousines than Mercedes is, uh, but Mercedes, Mercedes was good enough. That's all that is. It was just good enough. Let's put it this way, right? Uh, child under MK Ultra loves white pants, loves white clothing. Tito had a lot of white clothing. He always looked. Um, he always dressed up in a bright colors, white. Um, he started to fuck with me to uh, just... Uh, one time he stopped the car along the road to Slovenia and uh, he had uh, bodyguards taking me out of the car and uh, marched me into a fucking jungle. It was a jungle that was uh, like totally fucked up. And uh, he said, he, they, they told me that I should start cleaning. Uh, and I said, cleaning what? What the fuck, cleaning? Uh, I was already like seven years old, maybe, something like that. Yeah, you, you start cleaning this here. And I was, you, 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 I, I'm going to start, well, what am I going to do here? This, you, this, is your, this is where you're at home. And uh -huh. I was like, really? I am at home here, in the middle of the forest, in the fucking jungle. Literally fucked up, totally uh not trees only but uh, it was all bush you know what i mean here clean it up uh, under mk ultra i was maybe seven years old maybe six years old probably six years old i was small and uh, and, and they told me yeah you 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 start cleaning up this is where you're at home uh remember uh, when we were talking about how you're gonna uh, make a house and a weekend, that you're gonna build a weekend and stuff like this, start cleaning, uh, cleaning it up. I told them, "Fuck you, I'm not cleaning shit. What, what are you talking about?" Eh? And they they started to fuck with me ever since. Um, even Robert Golob would deliver me back to the location. This was somewhere along the. Uh, Rijeka towards Slovenia location on the road to remind me of that stuff. Um, um, leave me entire fucking day in that in that uh, in there and uh, started to fuck with me. Uh, not a good stuff, ugly stuff. Tito had an ugly, ugly side too to him. Yeah, this is the stuff that went on. This kind of punishments, whatever the fuck I did. I don't know. Maybe I did something that he didn't like, whatever. And, uh, or he will, he found a way to punish me, whatever. Whatever you want to say this. Uh, and so, I did go too far with this stuff, right? I did go too far with it. Uh, I don't want nothing 
from Croatia. It's all good. It's all fine. It's all good. Uh, Croatia is uh, all there. And then it was uh, a granddaughter from Tujman and stuff like this. Uh, the advertisement this house is here throughout Croatia and so on and and insisted on how at least how what a size of the house I should buy in Croatia what kind of house psychiatrist cops delivered me to Croatia hey man uh, really somebody that was worth during MK Ultra one trillion dollars is gonna go and is gonna purchase your fucking Croatian uh, 400 square meter house really uh, let me explain to you, even, even, even a nobody and nothing, your Josip Bros Tito, he had a Brioni and he, I don't know what, even every dirt you hosted, Chetniks, that caused a lot of harm to you in Croatia, you awarded them with all kinds of respect and medals and welcomes. Today you are awarding Mila Kuchan over there, you hosting uh, kings. Sin, supposed to be a jewel of Croatia. Sin, supposed to be a jewel of Croatia. It's supposed to be the most Croatian city. Is exactly Sin. Old Croatian traditions are in there. You know, you don't give a fuck about really the truth about what went on, what what took place, how things turn, and this and that. Who did what and so on. Listen. For me, right here, Kolpa River is the most beautiful river. I would not. I, it's it's okay. The Kolpa River on this side of the Kolpa River will be okay. So you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about anything when it comes to Croatia. You can keep it. You can keep all your islands, all your beautiful beaches, and everything you have. Never again, you fucking say. That it was for me because of me and so on because I don't want any of it. I don't want any of the Croatia. Garlic didn't have to worry about giving me data about about uh, some kind of accumulatisko uh, jezero in Croatia. Accumulation lake. Stanovnici, uh, there's some uh, Croatian lake somewhere in Croatia that they're gonna make, uh, and uh, the village people protest against it uh, because it's gonna flood. It's gonna their entire area is gonna be flooded. Uh, I sada će nas ovo i će nas potopiti and so on. Uh, uh, you, know, you know who planned on purchasing the land here in this place is what I was told at least during MK Ultra. Uh, Rodman Grlic was the one who's gonna go and, and uh, uh, contemplate it on, on moving himself from Zagreb to whatever the fuck this is. Let me explain to you something uh, Mr. Rodman Grlic. Uh, he went on afterwards to tell me that he will not really do this, uh, but he will he will fuck me uh, so that I would not purchase the land in the Croatia. When I will purchase the land in the Croatia, that he will fuck me because I will for sure, according to his words, fuck him. And this, uh, let me tell you, Mr. Gerlich or Rodman, you don't have to worry about your Liberlandia when it comes to me. You know, you don't you don't worry about the Kolpa River uh, resolved all the problems. Uh, listen, even if I have to go to the sea, it's going to be on the Italian side. I promise you, I'm not going to cross the fucking Kolpa River. It's all yours, Rijeka, everything you have. And if you can also take every Croat and move back to Croatia with the Serbs, that will be just fine with me. I would not have any kind of problem with it. Just like you, I don't also want you in Slovenia. I don't want you anywhere in Slovenia. I'm going to put it plain and simple that you understand. Your psychiatric hospitals 
where you tortured me, where you butchered me inside, were indifferent from the Serbian. And so you keep your shit to yourself and don't, don't come to this side of the Kolpa River anymore. The fuck out of here.